Hey guys, Jason Place here. Welcome back. So tonight we have something totally different. Uh, most of you who know me personally, uh, I do collect TCG first before any sports cards. And I've been an avid fan of Magic the Gathering since 1994, 1995. Oh, ages ago. It reveals how old I am. Anyway, so, um, but you know, with everything else that happened in the pandemic and you know, uh, TCG, y you need your tournaments to basically get people to participate and whatnot and with social distancing and all that basically just vanished so for myself I basically decided to look into basketball cards because it's you know it's a collectible it's fun a lot of people still are very opportunistic in collecting stuff and, and ripping stuff and you know that's why I made this channel so that at least I can share with you my personal rips um, and yeah so this is something that's really close to my heart TCGs easy card games in, in general so um, and uh, we basically decided to give a try on uh, Flesh and Blood uh, simply because it's the most hottest TCG that's been happening right now um, since uh, last year. I think they opened uh, their their business in 2020, November 2020, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and what's so interesting about this is that you know the way that the cards are being played. Uh, and as well as the gameplay and as well as how the cards are being utilized, you know, I mean there's tons of videos in, in YouTube right now explaining how it plays, but uh, Here we're just going to be sh showcasing what I'm able to uh, get from this uh, box that we're unripping. So without further ado, let's uh, begin uh, unlike Say uh, pretty much a regular sealed box Nothing really to share here Um yeah, so basically it's uh, um, it's called, uh, sorry, I didn't even recognize, I didn't even say what it is. It's basically called Flesh and Blood. Um, so the company who uh, made this is based in uh, New Zealand. They're called uh, Legend Story Studios. There you go. And uh, they operated or they started their business or the card game in uh, November 20, 2020. So uh, barely, uh, well, it's it basically one year old right now. And uh, what's so good about this is that they only like, have three existing expansions right now. So uh, from what I know, Welcome to Wrath, which is this box. Uh, yeah, there you go, Welcome to Wrath. Uh, basically, this is the first expansion that they have. And that was followed by uh, Arcane Rising. And uh, now we have the uh, Crucible of War. And the, uh, the latest one that's coming out of May is called um, Monarch. Monarch something, or maybe just Monarch, can't remember. Okay, so just so you know first, um, for those who, of course, a lot of my uh, subscribers are mostly for basketball, but for, for the other. So uh, just a quick explanation. So this is a limited box. So for Flesh and Blood, basically what they did, they print two versions or two variants of the uh, sets. So there's the Alpha sets, uh, which are the uh, highly chased first prints uh, or first editions of the set. Like for example, for Welcome to Wrath, the, and then definitely there's a, just an alpha set. And this is the reprint set, which is the unlimited. So the, they're all the same cards, completely the same cards. The only difference is that um, alpha sets are in cold foils and unlimited sets are in rainbow foils. So rainbow foils would be your traditional foils that we actually just see uh, from regular TCGs. Cold foils, I think, I personally haven't seen one, haven't Googled really. Um, I'm sure you guys can check in YouTube for any other unboxing videos and whatnot. But yeah, I, from what I remember, it, it kind of looks like um, the, the maybe a lighter silvery gray border or something like that. Anyway, so here's the box, nice and neat. So we have 24 packs. Each pack, I think, is... I forgot how many packs, <laughs> how many cards are there in the pack, really. So I'm not sure. But, but yeah, pretty excited. <laughs> Don't know the order what we're going to be doing this, but yeah. So yeah, so uh, let's see what we're going to get. <clears throat> and uh, as we open, I will tell you what we get and how it's being sorted. Okay, so I watched a couple of videos saying that the cards are actually a little bit hard to rip, but they're not. Okay, so at the back, you always get a token. And this is basically your hero. Uh, so it's a back-to-back -back with, uh, with a weapon. So yeah, so I think, yeah. Okay, so this is a token. The first four cards would be your commons. Okay, uh, let me just move this a little bit there. Okay, right. 
So, so basically, for those who don't know, I'm just going to see whether if I can remember this correctly. But so it looks at four different points uh, per card. So this is the pitch or the resources that it makes. This is the cost that requires you to play it. So this is the attack and this is the defense. And basically these are the text and this basically what explains what it is. And here in the bottom, I'll just see if I can zoom in there. Yeah, okay. Oops, sorry for the shake. So this one will tell you what it is. So it's a, it's a common. So the rarities are split between common, rare, common, rare, super rare, majestic, legendary, and fable. So yeah, but um, yeah, we'll just see how or what we get out of the box. But anyway, so the first four would be your commons or generic action commons, I believe. So we've got Nimble Strike, Raging Onslaught, Winning Blow, Nimbleism. All right, and then these would be our, uh, oh, sorry. So there's like four, there's the fifth card. Okay, right, and then we have our rare slot. So time snap potions. Okay. Oh, and by the way, there's a like, uh, so let me just showcase these. So you can see that each card have red, yellow, and blue uh, color variation. So um, I think it basically means that for each color represents a, a resource or a pitch number. So red means the lowest, blue means the highest. Yellow is always like in, it's always two, so these are consistent, but it basically varies as to what its ability is. So like for example, I think that's a bad example. That's a bad example. Well, we'll see, we'll see if we get some duplicates. Well, I can explain it, but yeah, basically, uh, red means a little bit more aggressive, than, so you get more value for your attack or some plus on the attacks here on this part. Yellow is a little bit in the middle and then blue is actually very like uh, it has a high re it has a high pitch uh, resource, but re high pitch resource value, but very little attack or defense or something. But yeah, so something like that. Okay, so anyway, moving on. So we have um, time snap potion, which I think is nice. Got staunch response, which is okay. So we're just gonna put our rare spot here. So that's our commons. We have our rares. These is another rare, and then we have a foil slot here, which is, oh sorry, this is already the foil slot. So two rares, and then we've got a foil slot. And then these would be your uh, class um, comments, or class, uh, or specific class comments. So you've got ninja action, warrior, ninja, guardian, brute, guardian, and brute, all right, okay. All right, so yeah, so the cards that we're looking for would be w within these slots or within these slots anyway. So yeah, so let's see. So um, what are we looking for? Um, uh, good question. I haven't really thought of which class I'll be using, so I don't know what I want, but I mean, yeah, of course we want the very expensive rare cards here and there, so crack bobble. You didn't get a token? No, there's no token here, all right. Let's see. All right, so sink below, then we'll strike, unmovable, pummel. Oh, pummel is actually a good card. It's great. So we got that. Okay, so we've got our. Uh, so these are the um, equipment. So you've got your legs, chest, arms, and helmet. So we got that there. We got another rare. And we got another, okay, so this is the S, you can see here at the bottom, hopefully you can see it. See it, there you go. So that means um, it's super rare uh, from the hierarchy from where it is. I don't remember how, all right, so let's just see what's our, okay, so we got a common, so we got a rare foil over there, and then we've got a common, got a common um, foil. Right, and then we've got our classes. What's a T? Is it a T? I'm not sure. Generic resource, crack bobble. All right, we will put that there because we don't know what it is. All right, okay, so that's the second pack. 
back. It's weird. We didn't get a. Uh, we got a token, right? So did we got a token. Yep. Okay. So we got a token here. Quicken and uh, weapon coming back, going forth. What's so nice about ripping TCG is that you don't have to like you know do this and do that, unlike basketball cards. So this one's actually just nice and clean and going straight. All right. So okay. So moving on, we've got slugism, wounded bull, raging onslaught, nimble strike. And we've got our generic uh, equipment. Found a rare for snatch. Drone of brutality. And we've got a common unmovable. And then we've got our brute, uh, our uh, class specific commons. Great. All right. Okay. Well, let me try to speed this up a bit. There's a lot. So yeah, so what are we looking for? Uh, uh, we're looking for this point. I want anything fine though. <laughs> or the, ooh, we got a crimp one. That's nice. One of these actually fetch a little bit more expensive. So we'll just put that there. Let me listen. Demolition crew. Sink below. Okay, and then we've got break scales as our equipment. We've got a Warrior's Valor. It's our rare. Ooh, we got a nice looking crazy brew. And then we've got a common nimble strike. Alright. And then of course again, our class related commons. Okay, next. Right. So yeah, so anything Findle. Uh Findel, Findel, I don't know how you guys read it. Or oh, uh, Bravo. Oh, wow. Okay. Katsu, okay, so that's the card there. That's the hero. Alright, so yeah, so I want to think Vindal at this point. Maybe maybe the armor or the uh, I forgot what's the name. So yeah, well let's see. Alright, let's go scour battlescape. Slog guessing, nimble strike, raging Braunhide, Hope's Merchant. Okay, and then we've got our rares, blessing of deliverance. Barrage and Beatdown, got a common Raging Onslaught, and then we've got our commons over there. Okay, uh, not the foils we want yet. Not, hopefully we get a Fable or a, a really nice Majestic card, or maybe a really nice Legendary, so it's all worth it. We all want the nice ones, don't we? All right, so we've got a token. All right, so you got Demolition Crew, Unmovable, Scour the Bowscape, Wounded Bull, Hell of Eyes and Peak, got a Ninja of uh, Flick Flack, Blackout, you got our, ooh, it's a Singing Steel Blade, nice, that looks nice, for our Super Rare, we'll put that there, just a little bit later. And then our specific commons. All right. So yeah. So um, what are you? Are you guys playing this already? Um, has that actually reached where you are? Um, it's pretty popular here right now in Hong Kong. So okay. So we've got a movable scar for scar pummel scour to balance Got a. But bark bone strapping. Okay, we got another potion, which is great. Ooh, we got the sigil of solace of king's life, and we've got a rare potion of strength. Okay, that's our second rare foil. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. So rainbow foils, right? So, well, I can't really compare it because I don't have a cold foil. But yeah, you can see it's rainbowish here. I'm assuming the cold foil is just basically one one line of color. That's why it's, you know, rainbow. <laughs> That's why it's cold. Anyway, moving on. So we got that. So this is really the only card that we got. It wasn't a token. I don't know what this is though. Let's see what we got. Unmovable, wounded bulls, far for scar, graduating slog. Okay, we got a helm. So, so far we're already completing our, uh, yeah. Our armory, our accessories. So 
steel blade shine start right there overpower and we've got a common awakening below bellow and our specific related comments class specific related comments okay all right i do like the feel of the cards i do like the art and hopefully okay we got Dorinte iron song well she looks actually Mm, she's hot. All right. I think I know what I'm gonna play class for. What, what class is she? Warrior hero. Yes. All right. We're playing warrior boys and girls. Warrior it is. All right. Next, we've got sink below. Raging brown hide. Raging brown hide. See. Okay. So this is an example of that. So you see, you've got blue raging brown hide and you've got a red raging brown hide. So the difference is, is the pitch is one. The pitch is three. Cost is the same, but you can see that the power uh, for the red one is higher. The power for the blue one is actually lower. And they actually do the same, okay? Something like that. So the variety is there for some. All right, so, okay, so we've got Savage Feast, Break Battery, and we've got our common for Open the Center, and we've got our common cards, class cards. Okay. So far, uh, not so good. We're not not seeing the cards that we want. Nothing of Fiendle, nothing of the uh, Enlightened something. I forgot name, but yeah. Those were the chase ones that we want anyway for the set. So moving on, we've got Raging Onslaught, Regurgitating Slog, Scar for Scar, Brawn Hide. We've got our equipment here, slides. So we've got the Savage Feast. Overpower and a common nimblism. Right, and then our specific common cards, specific class related common cards. Oh, come on, come on, nice shiny armor, nice shiny majestics. All right, moving on, sink below, scour palescapes, I guess in rigidating slog. So we've got our boots, snap character scalpers. Got a Warrior's Valor, got a Blood Out Kick, and oh, okay, that's a shiny one, but it's a common. All right, moving on. Dorinte. All right, okay. Ooh, so we've got the. Okay, so for the hero, so basically you get two versions of the hero, so a young version and the the current version. So the difference would be uh, their uh, life points. But yeah, basically it's the same, so it's just draw four and then their life points. Okay, so I think yeah, I'll keep those. So I want to play her class now. And her as my hero. Cause hot chicks rule. Alright, moving on. Okay, so you got token again. Sink below, pummel, raging onslaught, flock of the walkers. You've got a bark bone strapping. You got our rare snitch. Savage Feast, and you've got a rail steel blade shunt. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of our common specific classes. Yeah, so, um, um yeah, so you guys, oh, okay, so there's no one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So the last card should be something. It's another crack bobble. So now we know, okay, so it's not as rare as we thought, but yeah. Well, we don't know if it's rare, actually, we don't know anything, so, but yeah. So at least we know that it's always there in the bottom. Black, okay, so we've got flocks, two flocks, wind and blow, sink below. We've got a merchant. And we've got our warrior. Okay, so we've got our um, super rare show. Showtime for Bravo. Got Raging Onslaught for a common foil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So yeah, uh, we're looking, we're still hoping we get the top cards, the top rare, top mythics, or red mythics, the majestics at least. Okay, so that's this guy. All right, moving on, so we have commons, four commons. 
Slog, Noblissim, Scarf for Scar, Demolition Crew, Fifth Common Bear, Father Staunch Response, Cluster, and a Common Pack Hunt, which is followed by Pack Hunt again. Alright. Okay. Warrior. Let's see, let's see what's next. Razor Reflex, Raging Onslaught, Scour, Flock, got our boots. We got an energy potion, which is nice. Got that. We got a legendary. Wow, okay, here we go. We did get a legendary of. Wow, Brave Forge Bracers. It's a warrior equipment. Yep, I am going warrior. It's basically the RNG gods telling me to go. To go warrior. Okay, so let's read it. Once per turn action, pay your next weapon attack. This turn gets plus one attack. Activate this ability only if you have. If a weapon you control has hit them, go again. Battle one. Okay, right. So that's our first major hit there. We've got a legendary. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then our commons here. We got Bravo. Okay. Woo! That was nice. Uh, but yeah, I don't think it's actually one of the chase legendaries though. So hopefully we get something else that's uh, worth the box. All right, moving on. So we've got Slog, Reflex, Scar, Strike. We've got the equipment. We got the rare Fluster, and then we've got a rare Snatch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right, so we're passed through the half of the deck. Uh, moving the tokens here. Okay, moving on. We've got oh no, we've got another crimp here on top. It's cool. So we've got wounding blow, nimble strike, pummel, unmovable, the gauntlet. We've got the fowler. Fine, and we've got a common stonewall confidence and more of the other cards. Okay. Removing that. Unmovable, Nimblissim, Razor Reflex, Nimble Strike, Goliath, Throne Brutality, Ranch, and then we've got a fl Fluster Fist for a rare. Oh, okay. So we're left with six packs. Wish me luck, guys. Hope we get a. Uh, Majestic still or a fabled. <laughs> oh man, if we get a fabled, that'll be sick. Nimble, razor reflex, pommel, scar for scar, got the helm. We've got the um Okay, so we've got a rare ooh, we got the uh the non-foil version of Saint Steel Light. And then we've got a common raging brown hide. Okay. Brave forge blazers. That looks neat. Okay, and on. So you have the ball, Raging Onslaught, Nimbus, and Razor Reflex, Hell of Eyes and Peak, Steel Blade Shots, Able. It's for our rares. We've got a common primeval bellow. For the class. Okay, four more packs. Thank you very much for bearing with me. It's a very, very long video already. So, yeah. Wounding Blow, Wounding Blow. Yeah, Red and Yellow. Raging Onslaught, Burgeoning Slot. We've got the Heart and Cross Trap. We've got a Potion of Strength, got a Brute Attack, and then we have a Common of Driving Blade. Oh, all right. I think that's pretty much it. We're not going to get anything, anything other than these. Unfortunately, but yeah, it's been a nice fun rip. Okay. 
Wounding blow, slog as and demolition crew, slog as and again. Iron legs, sigil of solace, it's a rare, savage feast. Got a common smash instinct. And the commons again. Okay, last two packs, guys. Too bad we didn't get a tunic. There you go, I remember the tunic was the one that we were looking for. Uh, Findo tunic. Okay, so removing that part. All right, Brontenhide, Slug, Blocker, Strike. Got the Iron Plate. Got a Blessing Deliverance. Ooh, we got a... We got a Mythic. Steel Blade Supremacy. For Warrior. Nice. It's not a foil, but we got a Mythic. Oh, Mythic. Uh, Majestic. Got a Pummel. Common. Okay. Wow, save the best for last, right? Okay, last card. Wish me luck again, guys. So let's see. Okay, skipping those, skipping that. So we got Flick Flock, Lord of the Wind. Yeah, it's a common foil. It's, a, it's another M. It's another Majestic Lord of the Wind. Katsu for a ninja action attack. Okay, all right, I think uh, that's pretty much it for that. Um, highlights, so let's look at the highlights. So we've got the super rares for the following. So we've got Singing Steel Blade, Showtime, Crazy Brew, and Remembrance. Um, and then our major hits. Okay, and then our non-foil first, non-foil cards would be um, Lord of Wind and Steel Blade Supremacy. Yeah, so let's read that quickly, shall we? Until end of turn, target weapon gains plus two. And then this weapon hits straw. Ooh! And it's just for one. Yeesh! It's an action. It's pretty good. Okay. And then our uh, foil hits. Foil hits would be Potion of Strength. Well, that's, really, that's not really much of a hit, really, but seeing Steel Blade, definitely, that's nice. And then we've got uh, Brage Force Bracers. Okay, all right. So, yeah, I think we are definitely playing um, Dorinthi. Uh, yeah. Awesome. All right, well, anyway, thank you very much for taking the time. Um, we'll definitely be doing a rip for uh arc rising and yeah hopefully we get the uh, better hits there and yeah um hope you guys you guys like the content that we did right now um we will, of course we'll still be doing a lot of basketball and rip soon as soon as i find you know retail products that we could uh have fun and rip and enjoy but but for yeah for now uh yeah uh, i think it's gonna be some some somewhere more more or less uh rips of tcgs from here and here onwards as well and hopefully we get more flash and blood. All right, that's it for me. Uh, this is G GST Plays. Um, I'm a personal box breaker here in Hong Kong. If you like the content, like I said, just please uh, support me by subscribing to my channel, liking the video, or and uh, leaving a comment because I always like to engage with you guys. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time, and I will see you in the next. Bye bye.